Hey, hey ladies, happy Friday and welcome to your day three of Love Fest Challenge. And today we are going to talk about how to become more attractive and magnetic to that amazing man of your dreams. But before doing that, I wanted to take a minute to say how blown away I went with your takeaways from yesterday. I asked you to share your big takeaways, and in return, I was going to pick one winner and gift her one of my digital programs that she doesn't have. But after going through so many of your amazing comments, and it, it was so hard for me to choose. It was really difficult for me because you ladies didn't just write what I said. You put your own spin to it. You really, really made it your own, and it showed me that you you really get it so I decided to choose two two winners for yesterday because why not I really couldn't decide and a queen can change her mind she can choose a different you know change the rules and give more so first and foremost let me announce those two winners um number uh, one let me make sure I got her name right Susanna Alice I'm gonna tag you so make sure that I am not, you know, missing your name. And the second winner is Sare Avad. Um, so I will also tag you, love. Thank you so much for your brilliant takeaways. It helps so much when women share it. It helps other people to read it, really get it. And for you, really studies show when you actually write something down, there's seven more, more, seven more times likely to remember it and apply it as opposed to just listening and under they go. So thank you for doing that. And to be honest with you, I loved doing this so much. I loved answer, reading your answers so much and seeing how intently you listen and how you took notes that I've decided to extend the giveaway. So I'm going to do this for the rest of the challenge. So today, tomorrow, and the last day, on the last day, same rules, listen to this, training share your takeaways how many you want it doesn't have to be limited to the biggest one to the ones that you learned and it really really went made you go aha oh my god i've been doing this wrong or i need to reinforce this i really need to pay attention to this so i want you to share it in the comments and tomorrow again i'll come on and i'll announce the winner or two who knows so and it will be one of the digital programs that you don't have hello hello everybody so good to see you all and um also oh to Susanna and sorry, please send an email to questions at fullyador.com to claim your prizes. Questions at fullyador.com and we will give you your prizes. So with that, let's get started. Let me see who is online. I see so many of you joining. Hooray, yay, yay, yay. Okay, so like I said, today's topic is my favorite because it's on so much of a lighter side and it always feels fun to tap into our feminine magnetism and that that feminine energy that we have that attracts men it's like this goddess energy that we can have access to it's available to every single woman in a matter of seconds and all we need to do is to learn how to unleash it and actually be comfortable with being attractive being desired being seen by men because i call myself a recovering invisible girl because i always notice i always felt that men don't notice me they don't pay attention to me they never see me and so i also know what is the fear of being noticed i said that i wanted to be seen and approached but deep down i was really scared of it because it was such an unfamiliar territory for me i couldn't trust myself of what would happen if i had men wanting me would i be able to handle all the attention or would i feel obligated and feel like i owe them anything i owe them something i need to because they're interested in me and then i need to be a certain way and do certain things that would be very uncomfortable for me. this is what we're going to be learning today is to first of all unleash our attractiveness and then own it so 
Let's first talk about what doesn't make a woman attractive, shall we? Are you on board with that? What is it that doesn't make a woman attractive to a man? Trying too hard. When she tries to get noticed, when she tries to be attracted with the way she looks, with the way she talks, with the way she tries to act smart the guy, with the way she tries to be funny and laugh a certain way and talk about her accomplishments and how many countries she had visited and traveled to, how much money she makes, what's her degree, what's her social status, trying too hard. When a woman is trying too hard, she immediately becomes unattractive to men, to high-quality high men. If you remember yesterday's training, a man doesn't like an easy prey. And when you are, when she is trying to convince a man to catch him, he'll immediately want to look the other way because he wants the harder, harder catch, the one that is not saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. He really doesn't want to be convinced. He's not hiring you for a role. So you need to become super vigilant with your tendency and look back over the past year. We are almost at the end of the year. Well, it's like literally four days away. With raw honesty, ladies, when did you try to audition for a man to like you more? Pay, pay attention to those tendencies. When did you try to get him to notice you, get him to like you a little bit more? And those are the things that you need to stop immediately because those are the auditioning qualities. As if he's a director and then he's hiring for a role and then here comes you with a sexy outfit and then comes another woman who makes a lot of money and then the other one has an amazing job. It doesn't work that way with a man. It never does. So I invite you to write in the comments and share your vulnerability. This is a safe space for you with zero judgment. What has been your past tendencies to convince a man that you're a catch, that you're attractive? And by bringing awareness to that, you are now capable to stop it, to know, because what we can only stop something when we it is it has come to our consciousness if it's on the unconscious and it's running in the background it's very hard to stop but once you know you can't not know anymore and you will only know what are your tendencies when are you trying it's all about that energy deal all right awesome awesome hello hello everybody hello vanessa hello cassandra hello danielle so good to see so many of you online amazing 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 all right ladies now let's talk about the of the two most important qualities that you can you can start doing immediately to increase your attractiveness so number one the most important thing that makes a woman more attractive is knowing exactly who she is and owning it why do you think that is the most magnetic and attractive woman in the room is not the most beautiful one she might be nice to look at but she's not the one that magnetizes a man who wants a committed soulmate relationship her looks is not what's going to get him that the one that is most attractive to the high quality man, to the committed oriented man, and to the man who she is with. So this will apply if you are with a man already and you can increase your attractiveness by doing so. Is the one that knows who she is. She knows what she likes. She really owns her desires. So that means she doesn't try to fit in. She doesn't try to look and sound like every other girl. She doesn't try to look like the late, like, you know, the most popular celebrity and talk the same way and dress the same way. She's willing to stand out and she loves herself for it. She loves her truth. She's so filled with love for her life and for herself and her own desires that that love overflows from her heart and touches 
other people. She's so full of approval for herself. She says she needs zero, zero need. She has no need to get that approval from anyone else. So what does that look like? She doesn't pretend to be interested in everything else that others are interested in. Now, she doesn't do this on purpose. She's not like being a rebel and trying to stand out and trying to say that, no, I don't like what you are like just for the fact of, you know, standing up. But she's just unapologetic about it because that's that's her truth. She doesn't compare herself. She doesn't compare her outfit. She doesn't compare her laugh. She doesn't compare her level of intelligence of much money she makes or, you know, how funny she is. She doesn't try to be like everyone else. If she's in a company of people that are like, you know, big readers and she's not into reading, she doesn't say that she is. She doesn't go out of her way and say, by the way, I'm not. But she doesn't feel less because she doesn't, she doesn't care. She knows who she is. So my beautiful ladies, my question for you, do you know who you are and who you're not? If you had a one-on-one -on -one interview conversation with yourself, would you find yourself having multiple passions that you're so lit up with that you are just you're not looking like when someone asks you what are your hobbies you're like oh my god what is the coolest thing oh that's so lame that's so lame that's so lame but you're unapologetic and lit up about what you like and what's unique about you what unique personalities do you have or are you trying to copy someone else because you think they are cooler than you and that's what men would like to hear so for this challenge, I have a homework assignment for you. And if you don't have a pen and journal, come back and write down these questions. And I really want you to do this. Even you think, if you think you know yourself, I still want you to do this. I want you to truly take some time before the end of this year and get to know the beautiful woman that you are with your own unique desires when the genuine, genuine curiosity of who you really are. So glad to see so many of you here. Awesome, awesome. Very cool. So what are the questions that I want you to ask yourself? These are examples, but just use them as journaling prompt and let's see where it takes you. So simple ones, what are your most favorite activities? When do you feel your happiest? What is your most favorite or absolute favorite book? Why? What is your favorite movie? Why? What is it about that book? What is it about? What emotion does it bring up in you? Who are the three inspirational people that you know? If you could have dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be from, you know, even if, even if they're from the past? Why? If you were, if you had all the money in the world, what would be the number one thing, the first thing that you would do? Why? In what ways are you trying to improve your life? What is your favorite quote? What is your guilty pleasure? What's your idea of a perfect date? Do you really know these? What is your favorite childhood memory? Why? What happened? What is your most favorite holiday? What is the most favorite time of the day for you? What is the most favorite day of the week for you? Find your essence, ladies. Who are you? What is unique about you? What is it that makes you you? In what ways do you not fit in? I really want you to reflect on these questions and you are so welcome to use more and more go as deep as possible and really share your answers to everyone of who are you show up as who you are and announce it in the world unapologetically i did that with my my group coaching program i told them and they were they were in, we were like, wow, we didn't know this about you. So I say that I'm a woman who feels most alive when I'm on the 
and I love having a milky, shaky drink in my hand. And I can't stand still when there is Latin music playing. I'm always dancing and I'm not even a good dancer. And I love to dress up. I love, I love, love dressing up. Even when I was in my corporate job and they were all wearing, you know, business casual, I wanted to look my best and I was unapologetic about it. I love staying at beautiful hotels. I love listening to podcasts. Any second that I get, I'm listening to a podcast. There is no silence in my world. I feel so inspired when I listen to them. And I love watching feel-good movies, feel-good comedies. That's my jam. I love it. And I love my wine and I love my fireplaces in a beautiful, cozy cabin. And that could, those are the only reasons that I can fall in love winter. I own it even if it's contrary to the to what's popular i've shared this before too lots of my friends for example love camping i don't i really don't i like my comfortable bed and i like my shower and nice bathroom and if i go against what i like and if i go camping the only reason that i would do it is so i wouldn't come off as a snobbish so i would be not living my truth, just trying to fit in and impress others and make them feel a certain way about me. So I've decided to not do that anymore. I also don't like talking about politics. If it makes me feel or look, not feel, I don't feel unintelligent. I might look unintelligent. It doesn't matter to me. I don't like it, so I won't do it anymore. So get to know yourself, ladies, and own it because you're going to be the most attractive woman in the room when you do that. He's going to notice you. A man is going to find that not needy energy because when you are trying, you are needy. When you're trying to convince a man to like you, you're being needy. I need your attention. Pay attention to me. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll just try to act it out in a way that you will finally like me. When she's not in that needy energy, her energy becomes magnetic. She does, that woman who you're gonna be doesn't need to be liked by everyone. She, she loves herself, she really likes herself, and she feels that the right people will like her, and the ones that don't, that's cool too. That is so freaking attractive. So find out who you are, own it, and watch how you become a magnet to men. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So loving it. Vanessa says this is so encouraging. Isabella says so, so good. These are good. I'm so glad, ladies. So, so glad. Now, let's move to number two for amping up your attractiveness, and that is by embodying the highest vibration of all, which is the energy of joy. I've told you this before, be light and breezy, but there's a reason for it. When men are shown pictures of the same woman, one smiling and the other one giving a model pose with a serious look, they all, I think it was 100 people, unanimously voted for the one that was a smiling that was more attractive to them so in that case please go ahead and generalize and insult men because they're all the same all men are more attracted to happy girls because they're human because they're attracted to joy because joy is the highest vibration of all energies and joy means light Who's not attracted to light? When you think someone is being attracted to darkness, you don't think that they are emotionally healthy, do you? So if you want to be attractive to healthy men, you have got to be happy. And that's why you must, you absolutely must learn how to smile, smile, smile. If I see, and I've made this thread before to my girls, one more picture of you trying with, with like with an artistic, angry look. If you want to meet men, if you don't, that's cool too. But if you're in the process of wanting to be more attractive and you want to attract the kind of guy that is attracted to joy and happy and healthy, 
and you're online dating, please smile in your profile pictures. Please don't make them, don't have this illusion that it needs to be artistic and it needs to be like with you giving up. It doesn't work. Just a smile. And you have to learn how to embody joy, to feel joy. It has to come from inside. So smiling on the outside is not enough only. So when you get to know yourself and really understand who you are, you will know also what makes you joyful and happy. So, but you can also do things that amplifies it. So number one thing is when we practice feeling happy, it, it makes us feel more joyful. And the other thing that we can do is gratitude. And we'll go into gratitude as well. So I want you to right now, take a moment to connect with your joy. You have it. Joy is not outside of you. Joy is within you. Joy is within all of us and it can be uncovered. It's not something that we get more outside. If I drink a coffee, I'll be more joyful. And if I go on a vacation, I'll be more joyful. You can connect to your joy immediately right now at any moment. So scan your body and melt in your body completely right now. I want you to go from your toes all the way up from your toes to your knees, to your thighs, to your belly, I want you to open. To your chest, I want you to open your chest. To your fingertips, to your throat, all the way to your face and let your, let your mouth open in a smile. And I want you to take a deep breath of joy. Just imagine you're, you are inhaling joy. And I want you to do it one more time and I want you to inhale that joy right into your heart. Really allow your heart to open up and see if you can smile from your heart. And share with me, how does it feel to smile right from your heart? There's a sense of openness to it when I do it. I don't know about you, but I want you to share it with me. Do this as often as you can, especially when you're in front of men. Smile from your heart to use this tool to smile right, right from your heart. Yes, you can't fake it. Secondly, you've heard me say this before if you are not new to me. Gratitude. Gratitude is the door to abundance and to joy. You cannot, it is impossible to feel grateful and feel bad at the same time. Feeling grateful connects you to your joy. So please, ladies, we've got four more days until the end of the year. Take a fast. Take a fast from complaining, from nagging, from criticizing, from comparing. Until the end of this year, you can do this. If you want to be more attractive, if you want to be happy, if you want to embody this feminine magnetism that men find so irresistible, practice gratitude for everything, for every drop of water that you drink, for every single thing that you have from your limbs and your organs, for the air, for the water. Just remember 80% of humans on the planet live under $10 a day. So you have a lot to be grateful. And if you want to be, if you want to be attractive, if you want to be attractive to anything, it's not just for men, but here we are, we're talking about men and being attracted to them. You gotta be in gratitude so because what you appreciate appreciates the good feelings that you're appreciating the things that you have appreciating for they will just magnetize that it comes more towards you and the joyful woman is the most attractive woman so Daniela says I love that smile from your heart it's beautiful it's such an opening feeling when you actually smile you can, it just the smile naturally comes to your face smile 
it. You know, if you read my recent post was that I asked my husband, what was the thing that attracted you to me? And he told me, because we worked in the same office back then, he's like, you used to laugh like no one was watching. You didn't care. You didn't care. And so you see how I was talking about get to know yourself and be, you know, when you're not worried about auditioning and making other people like you. So he basically gave me the two tips. Men always give us feedback. He said, you laughed like no one was watching. I didn't care to impress other people people oh my god other people are watching am i being too silly am i being too you know shallow am i going to be judged as not you know this classy high you know i i didn't care i laughed and then obviously the laughter the joy is what brought him to me and i share this before with other ladies is that we used to work together for six years before he asked me out in for six years he was right in front of me but but i was a completely different woman and if you know my story i was this very insecure and very guarded and very closed off girl that he he basically didn't he told me i was unapproachable and he didn't want to come near me because i'm that cactus like if you come and i will poke you but when i started doing this work that i'm doing with you right now that i learned to stop auditioning stop trying and be present in my body and really get to know myself and really express my joy the man who was in front of me suddenly became attracted to me for six years he wasn't he did say that I always thought you were pretty but you were unappro unapproachable so you see that beauty is not enough and by the way I didn't feel beautiful but at the time he he did think my physical appearances were pretty but it wasn't enough for him to come and ask me out the minute I decided to not be the one trying to be anything else other than myself and be unapologetic about what I like and what I don't like and what is my, um, you know, it, who is judging me, who is looking and really connected with my joy. And it came from all the things that I did for myself, all the inner work that I did. Then the man became attracted to me and boom, now we are married and he is my soulmate. My soulmate was in front of me for six years and I didn't know and he didn't know. So you see how the inner world changes the outside. He's right there. Your soulmate could be right in front of you. It could be someone that you see every single day, but he, there is this, this harmony. This is this unattractiveness that it just doesn't bring the two of you together. And when you change on the inside, the outside world is going to change. That is my advice for you. This is my challenge for you. So ladies, how are you liking? Let me look at the, look at the comments. Don says joy feels a for the percent for me, the, like champagne bubbles flowing through. I love that. This is, I love my gratitude journal. Cassandra says, and in gratitude is the seed of us for loss. It's beautiful, 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 ladies. I'm so glad that you are enjoying enjoying this. Ashley says it's so sexy and attractive when a woman is comfortable in her own skin and body. Absolutely, it is. One hundred percent, it is so so attractive. So, ladies, I shared who are the winners for the challenge from yesterday and because i loved it so much because i really really enjoyed reading your comments and your takeaways and how you put your own spin to it and how you actually made it the way that was applying to you it really really pumped me up to do it again so it is going to happen again. It, share with in the comments what are the things that you learned from this training. And also, I would love to hear with the first point in what ways in the past or now have you been trying to fit in or have you been trying to audition for the man to like you more and convince him to like you more? Even if it's using your feminine energy tools 
that still counts when the intention behind it is to make an impression on him you're not doing it for you but you're like i'm gonna be more more feminine so he'll like me that is still trying to audition and be impressive so look out for that sneaky sneaky ways of still trying to impress and still trying to get a certain feeling out of the person once you start doing it for you because it feels good once you are just being you because you don't want to be anyone else because you truly love yourself and you're not trying to copy anyone else then you become so 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 attractive effortlessly it's not an agenda it's not a plan it is just who you are going to be so share that if you have caught yourself trying to convince by talking about your accomplishments or trying to sound sexy and smart and look a certain way you could look the sexiest but as long as you're doing it for you and you wouldn't care if there was all women or all children you would still want to look your best that's what matters i always want to show up as my best version of self but it's not to impress it is for me to when i look at the, in the mirror for me to look like what i'm seeing so i hope this was helpful ladies and i want to hear your takeaways and i promise i'll come back tomorrow again at the same time and announce the, the winner of another digital program of mine lots of lots of love to you and oh by the way i'm also doing um, a webinar training in exactly an hour in exactly an hour I did this last week and um, if you missed it if you're new to the group and if you'd like to come and join it's happening on zoom it's not going to be broadcasted in this group anymore I've done it once so it's going to be happening in uh, on zoom so in order for that to happen you need to come and join so I'm going to put the link right here in the comments if you want to come and join please do so it is going to be awesome so let me know what are your takeaways and what are what did you learn and i will see you tomorrow so much love to you all